tonight's reading is Luke chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. Tonight's reading is Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord but they had no children.
Tonight's reading is Luke chapter 1, verses 8 through 11. Once, when Zechariah was serving as a priest before God, he was chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. There, there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. Tonight's reading comes from Luke, chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. When Zechariah saw the angel, he was terrified. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit.
Our lesson this evening comes from the first chapter of Luke, verses 16 to 17. The angel said, Your son will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Tonight's lesson comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. Zechariah said to the angel, How will I know that this is so? The angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my words, you will become mute, unable to speak, until the day these things occur.
Tonight's reading comes from the first chapter of the Gospel of Luke, verses 21 to 22. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept motioning to them and remained unable to speak. Thank you.